Okay, today I'm going to give you a quick demo of my new 3.2 inch touchscreen radio stack controller for FSX. Uh, this is the display here. It's a 3.2 inch LCD touchscreen from SaneSmart and uh, accompanying shield along with the Arduino Mega underneath. And the software is just uh, Flight Simulator X and Jim's fabulous Link to FS. So I'm going to go down to the screen here. You can see this is the initial screen and it shows frequencies for COM1, COM2, NAV1, and NAV2 along with the icon for configuration there in the lower left corner. Um, I'm going to start Link to FS. Uh, click connect to COM port and you'll see now the display will pick up the frequencies from FSX and I'll uh, move up here to the radio stack in FSX so you can see those values do match what's on my display and uh, they're a lot clearer in person they are than they are in this video so just keep that in mind if you decide to put one of these together. So I'm going to try, I don't have a tripod for my phone here, so I'm going to try and do this as steadily as I can. Uh, I'm going to click on the icon for going to the tuning menu here in the lower left. And as you can see, this brings up uh, selectors for COM1, COM2, NAV1, NAV2, uh, transponder, ADF, and back to main menu. So I'm going to click on COM1. And you can see that brings up uh, frequency displays for COM1 and COM1 standby, along with uh, touch buttons for increasing and decreasing the standby frequency by 1 megahertz and uh, increasing and decreasing the uh, frequency of standby for uh, that frequency by 25 kilohertz. Over here on the far left are buttons to go back to the main menu and a button to swap the active and standby frequencies. So I'm just going to use my little stylus here since it's a little smaller than my fingers here to change the frequencies so you can see it in action. And then I'll swap the standby frequencies. and I'll go back to the main menu and the same functions all work for uh, COM2, NAV1, NAV2 and the transponder. I haven't coded the ADF yet uh, or the DMEs so that's still yet to be done but I thought this was functional enough to uh, give everybody a look at it. Uh, here's the uh, the NAV screens look pretty much like the COM screens just a digit short on the frequencies and the transponder oops the transponder screen just gives you the standard looking interface to enter in your uh, transponder codes. So we'll go back to the main menu here. So as you can see, I'm running uh, the latest version of uh, Link to FS Multi FS X uh, VB or V6F for experts. That's from uh, that's from Jim in New Zealand. This is his great tool for us uh, sim builders. And standard uh, Flight Sim X with uh, I believe it's Deluxe with Service Pack 1 that I'm running on this computer. And we'll go back down here to COM1 and as I update COM1, I'm just going to toggle it back and forth using my mouse actually in Flight Sim. And while I do that, you can see the display, my display update. And I'll change the standby frequency with uh, the controls in Flight Sim. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll just uh, show you the display in Flight Sim while I change my touch screens.
So there you have it. That's my demo of my touchscreen radio, strap, radio stack for Flight Sim X.